Hello everyone, this is Northwind here. Welcome back to Code Combat. Uh, we only did a couple of uh, levels in the last episode. We were playing around with this flag input validation thing, and I'm just not really good at it. The code part I'm okay with. The game part of it is actually where I'm uh, I'm failing. But uh, it looks like we probably have a couple more uh, a couple more levels here in the backwoods forest. So let's give them a shot. Right now we're going to be doing mind the trap. Uh, don't take the bait. Argument strings, variables, while loops, if statements, input handling. And destruction. Um, I'm assuming that I'm going to be using the same hero, and I'm still using Python. I got to equip the longsword. Kill ogres on your side of the mines. All right. Use flags and distance too, so you don't run over the mines. Okay. So let's take a look and see what they've got written out for us here. If you try to attack a distant enemy. Your hero will charge toward it, ignoring all flags. You'll need to make sure that you only attack enemies who are close to you. So, we have a loop set up already. We've got a flag declared. We've got an enemy declared. Uh, nearest enemy and find flag. So, if flag exists, then you want to pick up the flag, which is self dot pick up flag flag. And then say, I should pick up the flag. Else, if the enemy exists, however, the enemy has to be less than 10 meters. So, uh, if I believe at distance two, uh, let's take a look here. If we get a declared distance is self dot distance to enemy. So, let's bring this down one. Self dot distance to enemy. All right, so if distance is less than 10, colon, then uh, we're going to want to attack the enemy, uh, which apparently it already has us do. Uh, okay. So we'll actually get rid of that. Shouldn't have to worry about that. Let's see. I don't think it's going to have to worry about that too much. I'm really kind of worried about where the flags are going, but we'll see what happens. Like I said, if I fail, I'll just redo it. It's going to be okay. All right, so we wait to see who's coming first. Novice! <coughs> because I was an idiot and uh, didn't have cleave. All right, well, we're going to do this a little bit differently. Give me just a second here. I'm going uh, I'm going to get this organized here. All right. I added a little thing in here to actually include cleave. Might as well use it if we need, if we have access to it. So let's uh wait until it comes out. Novesty. Chishin. <coughs> 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 All right, good, good, good. We're going to go down here. Cleave should be ready at this point. Come on, come on, come on, Cleave. There we go. There we go, excellent. It's not exactly the, uh, the cleanest, but it works. And again, the issue I don't think is with the code. I, I think the issue is with me. I guess not really understanding where these flags are supposed to go. Uh, signal corpse. Uh, use flags to signal different tactics. Argument strings, variables, while loops, if statements, if For the win. Still going to use the exact same person. Uh, all of this should be fine. Code combat. All ogres must must die. All right. Use different colored flags to tell your hero to run away or to cleave. Okay, so you can use flags to choose different tactics. In this level, the green flag will mean that you want to move to the flag. The black flag means you want to cleave at the flag. And uh, the doctor will heal you at the red X. Okay, so we have a loop in place. They've set green to equal fine flag green, black to equal fine flag black, 
and nearest to find the nearest enemy. So, if green exists, meaning that if I place the green flag down, then go and pick up the green flag. Otherwise, if black and cleave is ready, then pick up the black flag and um, self dot cleave the enemy. Uh, although it doesn't look like enemy has been declared yet. Actually, it has. It's just called nearest. Okay. So, uh, double check this. If a black flag has been placed down and cleave is ready, go and pick up the black flag and then cleave. Uh, else if the nearest enemy exists and the distance to the nearest enemy is less than 10, then we're going to want to just attack. And that should work. Uh, so it's green and black are the two that we're using. Let's give it a chance. Let's give it a shot. Okay. What are we doing now? Let's probably start with cleave. Not sure where we're supposed to go here, but uh, we're going to go here. And then go back here. Um, that's because I, I, I'm an idiot. Change the variable. I should have just changed nearest to enemy because that's what I'm used to. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Can <coughs> heal us? <coughs> okay. Let's try over here. Come on. What's going on? Where am I going? Where the heck am I going? I'm just wandering around. First of all, that flag looks blue, not black. Oh, dear God. Again, I don't think this is the code. I think this is just me being an idiot. All right, let's try going here. And then immediately going back. And then immediately cleaving. Because it's not letting me do the cleave thing without that. All right, so we're just going to wait a second. I guess we're going to go over here. All right, so far so good. We're going to do this a little bit at a time. All right, so far so good. Annoying, but working. Can I cleave? There we go. I am cleaving, just not cleaving well. Come on, let's cleave these guys. That was a waste. Just gonna get these two guys. Okay. Um, ran out of time. Ah. Uh, all right. One more time. We got this. Just need to be a little bit more aggressive, I guess. Come on. Come on. Come on, cleave, cleave, cleave. All right. Okay, so we're going to go through here and we're going to try to kill as many of these guys as we possibly can. Yeah. 
Yep. Come on. Guess we do whatever we can. And leave. There we go. We're gonna head back. Take on a couple more. Wait for these guys to come through. One more, two more. Come on, guys. Where are you? Let's go heal. We should have a. We should have a cleave by now. Come on. Ah. All right. So we're gonna use the uh, quick switch keys. Dead. Do not go to where both of the giant ogres are at the same time. So that took out quite a few of them. Gonna heal. We're gonna go back. Get rid of some more of these guys. Come on, we're doing all right. Down here. Back over here. Can I make it? Can I make it? All right, now we're going to go kill this guy. Come on. We got time. We can do it. Boom. Oh, I failed. How did I fail? Did I dot? Hmm. Okay. We got this. Just gonna stay here, kill as many of these guys as we can. Oof, okay, come on. Alright, we're doing well, we're doing okay. Just stay here. Come on. Kill the little guys. Get out of the way. Go back. Just kill the little guys. Come on. I don't think I'm ready to take on two of these guys, so. Let's go down here. Not a good way to take care of that, but not bad either. We did it. We did it. All that time, we finally did it. Just a matter of having to deal with flag placement, which I guess I'm really, really bad at. Ah, uh, and uh, I have no idea how long this video is going to end up being. Um, probably going to be too long, so I'm going to cut it off right there. Um, I apologize if it's a little bit short. It took me a little bit longer to beat uh, Signal Corps than I thought it would. Uh, it is what it is. Anyhow, um, thank you for all the support that you've given me on this. Uh, Code Comrade can be a little frustrating at times uh, when you're dealing with things like flag placement and that kind of thing, but you learn a lot. You just keep at it because that's uh, that's the way you have to approach the problems. You just keep at it. So, thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye now.